I'm Mark Lebwall. I'm chairman of the Department of Dermatology at Mount Sinai in New York, and I'm one of the co-directors of the Winter Clinical Dermatology Conference. Uh, and today I spoke about which drug for which patient, where we review all of the available systemic treatments for psoriasis, and then we, um, t we have a grid where we assign different ideal drugs based on the comorbidities that patients happen to have. So for example, if they have arthritis or if they have a history of cancer or if they have a, a congestive heart failure, um, there would be different specific drugs that would be ideal for those patients. Uh, and today to that grid, we added, uh, we added um, two items, pregnancy and pediatric patients. Uh, for patients who are pregnant, there is actually a clear winner Sertilizumab pegol does not cross the placenta, so that would be probably the ideal drug uh, in the setting of pregnancy. Um, uh, probably many of the other drugs would be pregnancy category B. The FDA no longer assigns those pregnancy categories, but most of the biologics would be pregnancy category B if they were assigned today. Uh, uh, obviously, methotrexate and acetretin should not be given to women at childbearing potential. Uh, in terms of pediatrics, the most data we have is with etanercept, uh, and they have five-year data showing how safe and effective they are in children. Um, they are approved for use in children. Um, uh, several of the other biologics, like adalimumab, uh, some of the IL-17 blockers now, are starting to come out with pediatric data as well, so uh, I expect in the future that they would be uh, approved in pediatrics as well. Um, one of the things I did say during the lecture is that kids don't like needles and um, the new IL-23 drugs uh, and ustekinumab, which is approved in teenagers are given infrequently. They're given every two or three months uh, and with that low frequency of injections it's easy to convince children to uh, take those treatments as opposed to the ones that you have to inject at home as often as every one or two weeks. So uh, pediatrics Pregnancy are now added to that grid, which, by the way, is published in the um, first in the January 2019 issue of the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology. It's one of the lead CME articles.